Hey guys, Nick at Security Pros, and I am going to show you how to change your display resolution. Maybe you have a 4K system and uh, you just got a brand new 4K monitor, or maybe vice versa. Maybe you're going into a smaller monitor, something a little bit tighter. Maybe you need it uh, set to 720p as opposed to 4K or 1080p. Um, you know, right out of the box, these systems are set to be at 1080p. So if you've just got your system in, and you're running a you know a 4K monitor, you might not be seeing the best image that's uh, that's available to you. So um, I want to show you how to make that change here. So if we uh, start by going to the main menu, you're going to right click and go to main menu. And now from here, you're not going to see any immediate display settings. Um, it's actually kind of hidden. It's it's right here. It kind of indicates that there is a second page. So if we click on the arrow or the dot, we're going to move over to the display settings. So this is where you're going to set your display resolution. So we enter our display. Um, it's going to give you some, some options here. There's a few cool things inside of here, but you'll see right out of the box, we're set to 1920 by 1080, which indicates that this display or this output is 1080p. Now, if we click on this, we're going to see a few different options here. We have 4K, which is uh, 3840 by 2160, and we have some frame rate differences here that we can change. I've find that the systems perform pretty good on the 30 frames, the 60 frames. It all depends on the refresh rate of your panel, uh, your display panel. I like the 30 FPS. Uh, it seems to perform pretty well there, but sometimes you want to go a little bit lower. This 1280 by 1024, this is a, a you know more of a computer monitor. So if you have a TV, be careful setting this down a little bit too low. If you have a modern TV, a lot of, the, a lot of times that TV does not support these lesser resolutions. And 1280 by 720, that is going to be your 720p re region. Um, TVs are going to support this, the 12, 1280 by 720. 1920 by 1080 is going to be a pretty uh, universally format, a uh, universally supported format. And um, 4K, of course, if you have a 4K display, you want to make sure that you're set to 4K to get the best possible quality. Uh, so I'm going to set this one to 4K, and I'm going to apply at the bottom here. And once I apply, the system will reboot. And upon the reboot, we're going to see that the system is showing a higher resolution. Before I do anything there, I did want to kind of explain a few different options here. The uh, If you wanted to hide the time or the channel or any of the uh, artificial intelligence rules that show up on the screen, you can do that here as well. Um, a lot of cameras don't have the SMD preview, AI roll, or temperature stuff. Uh, you know, so even though this is enabled by default, your camera probably doesn't have this unless it was a specialty camera purchased from us uh, or from a third party. So even though this is enabled, you might not see any of this stuff. But the, uh, the, the time title and the channel title, this is Good. This is good to show, you know, kind of show you what uh, what time it is on the screen and what channel you're looking at. If you have named the channels, that's kind of important to have that on the screen. So you can disable that if you don't want that on the screen. You, this is where you would do that as well. Uh, but uh, but resolution is really going to be the big thing, and this is where you're going to find that.